Hi guys, welcome back to my family's channel, The Happy Healthy Vegans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be making a chocolate cookie dough protein ball that I found on Pinterest from Bloomin' Noel Wen, I believe you say it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And uh, I've made them four times now, I think, if not more, and they're amazing. My kids love them, my husband loves them, I love them. I even have tested them on non-vegan co-workers and they love them. So let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna start off with putting our quick oats into our food processor and we're going to just pulse them. Okay, now that that's plugged in, let's try that again. We're gonna pulse them until they're fine dust like a flower. Okay. Now that's dust, we're going to add in cocoa powder. It's about four tablespoons here. Our dates, my dates were not wet enough last time I made these, so I had to soak them this time, and they didn't actually process, which kind of sucked. Milk. Can of kidney beans, yes. These are made with kidney beans, and you can't even tell. They're delicious. I really have to thank the Bloomin' Nolwen who posted this recipe, because, oh my gosh, seriously, you have to try them, guys. They're so good. That's peanut butter. If you don't want to use peanut butter, you can use almond butter, even maybe, I guess, whatever butter you can figure out. I don't know about regular butter, but butter of some sort and then we're going to put the lid back on and bring these to a dough like consistency okay here you go it's dough like consistency I did have to use a spatula to push it down a couple times but and it took a few minutes but it's all blended and ready to be transferred to a bowl here we go all right I forgot to mention chocolate chips the vegan chocolate chips, we're going to add those in. You don't have to. They give it like a nice little crunch. Give it a quick stir. What's uh, the instructions on that recipe I found on Pinterest doesn't tell you is that this mixture is actually really sticky. So I have a bowl of warm water here that I'm going to dip my hands into to help me make these balls. And then I'm going to be rolling the balls into flaked coconut putting them on my pan to flash freeze and then pat, putting them in like two balls per like little snack bag after. Okay. My hands are wet. Yeah, that definitely, it makes them definitely easier to roll. There you go, your first ball. Also, the um, ingredients call for if you want to roll them in crushed walnuts or hazelnuts. My husband's allergic to nuts, so we don't use them in the house. That's it. So, coconuts in there. So good if you love coconut. Oh my gosh, amazing. There you go. Thanks for watching my channel, and uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye now. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I actually said bye in the previous shot and I didn't mean to but I got 32 balls out of here the worm water worked wonders it was amazing anyways now that I'm all done I'm going to stick them in the freezer and package them I'm gonna probably put two per pack in a snack bag like this you can put them in a container wrap them in parchment paper I guess however or whatever works for your family. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.